Action Jackson. Alright, it's uh, discussion time, and it is about one of your, your favorite sandwich shops, grinder shops, hoagie shops, whatever you want to call it. Firehouse Subs. Firehouse Subs was started in Florida. I believe it was in Jacksonville. And uh, they're all over the country for the most part. There's some places in the United States that does not have one. And now, I do not have one. Our state does not have one. So the state of uh, Connecticut, state of Connecticut, had two firehouse subs locations located in Lastonbury, Connecticut, and in Bristol, Connecticut. Both of them have shut down on the same day, the same, basically the same time. And the reason why it shut down, this is according to the Bristol Press and the Hartford Current, is because simply firehouse subs, they just can't do business in the state. It, uh, bottom line is they weren't making enough money in return. Now, they're in many locations. I shouldn't say many, but they're in a pretty good amount of locations. The state of Connecticut is one of the highest taxed states in the United States. It is very tough for businesses to survive. It's very tough for businesses to do business and to make profit and to make money and to make significant funds in return. It's just... It's, uh, it's ridiculous. There's no doubt about it. People don't seem to really care about businesses in the state of Connecticut because you have the same elected officials year in and year out continue to get reelected, knowing damn well that the state is struggling with money, it is struggling with small businesses, it is struggling in many aspects, and the people continue to vote for the same result. And some people are doing are voting continuously. Maybe they expect change, but you know damn well it's not going to change. That's almost the definition of insanity. So, little rant there. So Firehouse is gone, and I don't think it'll be back for a while. They might come back, but I mean, it's who's to blame? Who is to blame? Is is Firehouse to blame? For leaving the state of Connecticut? Or is it the state of Connecticut to blame for losing firehouse subs? It made a damn good sandwich. That is, you know, it's, it is, uh, if you like food, you like sandwiches, you like deli meat sandwiches, you like warm grinders, it is, it's devastating, to be honest with you. No, the world is not going to end because a sandwich shop shut down. But it does mark the end of some good food, and uh, that's a problem. But who's who's to blame for this? Is it the state of Connecticut, or is it Firehouse for not preparing, uh, or not doing a better job, perhaps managing themselves? But I think you know my answer if you listened a little bit earlier. So uh, it sucks, but. You know, it is what it is. I'm not going to even mention the other. There, there is competition here for sandwiches. There is there is Jersey Mike's. There's Nardelli's. And um, got some D'Angelo's. You got other local sandwich grinder shops. And I recommend you support those. You got Subway. Subway. Oh, boy. And uh, I, there's probably a few other ones. I, that's actually pretty, pretty much it. So... That's my opinion of the situation. It sucks, but I guess life goes on. Who's to blame? Is it Firehouse? Is it the state of Connecticut? I don't know. But the whole situation, it reeks of bad business. And it reeks of businesses getting corked over because of the fact that they get taxed so much. And that's my story, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it.